When we started to think about uh, working with musicians from the Arabic world, hip hop shouted out to me as being kind of an obvious place to start. This song is called Um Amru, okay? It talks about wine and microphone because the Illyrical Alliance worked on this original song that we are performing today here in the Roundhouse. We're invited by the Roundhouse to work on Mu'allaqat, the pre-Islamic poems, very old poems, you know? I wanted to find something that would unite these very disparate artists and also sort of talk of the, di the diversity within the region. I turned to poetry and particularly to these beautiful early poems, kind of 6th, 7th, 8th century AD poems from Bedouin tribes. They're, these are the poems of the Mualakat. <laughs> I'd, I'd say that I just, you know, for me it was kind of like writing about my identity, trying to put together relevant issues and relevant messages that I could relate to and that people of my age and my generation um, and my culture, my background could relate to as well. اللي بوحدنا إنه كلياتنا بنحكي عن الأغاني اللي لها هدف نتكلم عن الحرية نتكلم عن كل كل المواضيع اللي بتفيد الناس مش كوميرشال يعني. Now I'm going to teach you the Arabic letters. You scream the letter and we do the rap. Just let's check if it's working. Let's try it. Jana, we ready? Yes, it's two cultures, Arabic hip-hop and some wicked-ass beats. Yes, I come from a political hip-hop, but I also do erotic songs, fun songs, party songs. It's challenging because uh, it's new. It shows you that even if, if Palestine is free and you live in a good world, you still can create. If I say, listen, it's not politic, I don't want to do it, that means if Palestine will get free, I'll be out of job. We have uh, different points of view, but in the same time, uh, in our text, we have the freedom to express ourselves, and that's what's amazing. And I think. I think the selection is very good. I call it the dream team of Arabic hip-hop. Everyone, 